All right, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're doing a player review on this new Kevin Lasagna foot birthday. And um, before we start, I just want to say what a name, Kevin Lasagna, and one of my favorite names I would name my child that. Anyway, let's get into it now. Um, see, this is the new uh, improved five-star weak foot Lasagna. I remember him uh, in FIFA 19, of he had the SPC, which everyone had, and it was a really good card. And now they bring him back, of course, from that as a foot birthday. I see I bought him for 200k, which is quite expensive, by, but by the time this video has come out, he should have dropped to 150, I think. I see he's got 4-star skills, 5-star weak foot. That will be one of the best things with about this card, I think, already. I see his stats are absolutely fantastic for a striker, I think. 97 pace, 88 shooting, 87 dribbling, and also really good physicals. Like, you might think, oh, 78 physicals. It's only because of his aggression, which is absolutely shocking. That's why I put a sniper on him to improve that. Also improve the shooting and dribbling. Now, when you get closer into this card, you can actually see his shooting is absolutely fantastic. Only problem is long shots, but... Which is quite a big thing in this game. Long shots is where you can really get finesses on. Um, and penalties, but realistically, penalty doesn't matter in this game. Because it's, um, you can just change it. See, he's got a flair and speed demon. Uh, let's get into the gameplay of this guy. Let's see if he's actually any good. Now, we see here, he gets the ball back here. Gets a really nice touch and what a finish. And let's get into the pros of this card. His pace. Pace is something you really need in this game, of course, it's in every game you need it. But it's really important for your striker to be at least a bit agile, which I found with this card quite a bit. Um, you see, I've found, um, I play, you can play him next to like a wingers, and he still feels really fast, and uh, compared to them as well, you see how easily he took on one of those defenders because of his speed. Uh, next thing, shooting is quite obvious with the couple goals you'll see in this video. How his finishing is absolutely fantastic, and when you even improve it, this makes it just so much better. Um, long shots was the only problem I had with him about that, but that's something I did pick up before the video started, and I thought, yeah, maybe he wouldn't be that good in that sense. But otherwise, his shooting is absolutely fantastic. Um, uh, just burying it into the bottom right. I did quite a few low driven with this card as well, which is something I don't normally do, but he found it quite uh, effective with this lasagna. Now, on to the next thing is a 5 star and 4 star combination. And you might be thinking, what are you on about here? With a 5 star weak foot, it doesn't really matter where you pass him. He just needs to turn, which is quite good because he's got good dribbling, and also just and just get the finish, finish off. Uh, and all the, uh, preferably we would have five star skills because I am a bit of a skiller myself and uh, I find it quite easy to get off defenders. But because he's just so um, like easy and he's so uh, agile, so he's could do that by himself anyway. Uh, that's a big thing I found with this card. See here, gets past the defender really nicely with his pace and buries that very nicely. And next uh, big pro I found with this card was dribbling. I said to mention it before, his agility. Absolutely fantastic. I think it's quite self explanatory that one where have good agility, you're gonna get past defenders easily. Has he shrugged off that defender with his amazing strength, which you don't really see before in his like stats, you might think, yeah, yeah, average. But how per uh, perfect this card is with his amazing pace, amazing shooting, good dribbling, and amazing strength, and also good height, which doesn't really mean a lot, is more about presence in this game. And height isn't good for heading because we all know heading is absolutely rubbish in FIFA 20. But otherwise, he was a really good card. Now, on to the cons. Uh, passing is my first one here. Um, and it's not that important, my people say. And uh, you might think, oh, passing for a striker, you're just trying to shoot with him, aren't you? But when you need short passing, it was really uh, a bit annoying. Uh, yeah, he got that pass off there, but... You know, you should expect your striker to at least get a couple of nice quick passes off, which would make this card even better. And that's why I might not put this card into top tier level for that reason. But otherwise, his um, passing was, you know, a big letdown. But for a striker, it's not the end of the world. And finesse shots, which you can see here, he just missed the absolute sitter, I thought, with a finesse shot. And you would expect it with someone with uh, amazing finishing like him. 
And also, his finesse shots weren't a big problem before. See there, that with that, I would have finessed him normally around the keeper. But, you know, with this lasagna, his finesse shots were absolutely awful. He couldn't score to save his life. His finesse shots were, I think it's because he did not have good curve with his passing. That's uh, getting back to his passing with his con. And finesse shots are a really big thing in this game. It's another thing I said with his long shots, which made it a lot harder. And you might think, you've got shooting in the pros and finesse shots in the cons. Can you really have one without the other? Well, yes, because you see there, someone just like shoots it first time, just doesn't press anything, just a circle. It goes in with him. But with finesse shots, you can't get his head around them and can't really you know, get his boot around it. I think that's with his curve, because his passing's low. So maybe maybe some like uh, artist would be better, but then his finishing won't be as good. So you have to think about it in a couple of ways. But otherwise, this card I thought was really good. It's going back to his uh, shooting in general. It buries out bottom bins. Now, this is my overall ratings of him. I thought it was an 8.5, which is not perfect because he's not like a meta card. I wouldn't recommend him into like teams that have lots of wingers because he is quite fast himself and I think he's better as a lone striker. Um, also, because he's so uh, agile, you don't really need anyone. So you can maybe get more midfielders to get the ball to him. Because he's not great with passing to them. Uh, value for coins. I did put a 9. And he is very, very, I think, very uh, good for value of coins. 200k. And as I said before, he will go down in price. So around, like I said, 150,000 coins. This card was absolutely very, very fantastic. Especially because he's in Syria. And Syria got a lot of good cards now. I use him with that Palutana who you had to grind for. But in the end, it was definitely worth it. Definitely a fun card to use. Also gets lots of links being Italian. Link him to a Moise Keen if you had that one from the Future Stars. Um, I did say before a Marksman or Sniper to improve that shooting. But his shooting doesn't really need improving except for his finesse shots. Which I believe is more curve. So maybe you want to put like an artist or something like a midfielder kind of uh, something to improve that passing. Uh, of course, his shooting was absolutely fantastic. That's why I put that into the key pros. And so is that five-star weak foot. Overall, I would recommend this card to teams that can fit him in. But I wouldn't recommend him for uh, teams that, you know, you're trying to force him in. Because he's not that good. Anyway, that'll be all for me. Peace.